This year, only one country has the courage to go out on a limb, take a stand, and declare that war is bad. Pick your job off the floor and get ready for overthinking Eurovision. Welcome to Overthinking It, where we subject the popular culture to a level of scrutiny it probably doesn't deserve. Now guys, we can all remember the many classic pro-war songs at Eurovision over the years. There was a Let the Bombs Fall Like Rain from 2012, War is Awesome from 2010, and Seriously How Cool is War from 2005. That was Switzerland, I believe. But what if I told you that there was a singer that wasn't so keen on war? You would certainly expect them to keep that opinion a secret, wouldn't you? But... That's just not how bogey rolls. Bogey? Boggy? I don't really care. Do you know All the for Never ends. I am not a fan. You might think I'm a pretty cynical guy for mocking bogey or boggy or whatever just for singing an anti-war song, and I am a pretty cynical guy. I live in New York City, which means that every day on my way to work, I see pigeons swoop down from the sky, grab babies out of their mother's arms, and drop them into Alex Rodriguez's waiting mouth. But Eurovision anti-war songs in general just seem so vapid. They take a fundamental and complex part of human behavior since the Stone Age and distill it down to a frowny face Hallmark card. Just check out these cheeseball lyrics. Oh war, I despise, cause it means destruction of innocent lives. War means tears to thousands of mothers' eyes when their sons go off to fight and lose- Wait a second, I'm sorry, that's the lyrics to War What Is It Good For by Edwin Starr. That's a totally awesome song. So okay, anti-war songs can be awesome. This one isn't. It begins with bogey or boggy or whatever standing alone in a public square. Everybody but then, miracle of miracles, she's joined by others. Soldiers walk towards the dark land. And then the entire crowd comes together, like the Who's at the end of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, to sing in four part harmony. And the whole thing is taped in this faux documentary style. You expect to see it posted to Upworthy with the headline, This girl started singing about world peace. You won't believe what happened next. And then there are the quotes that Bogey or Boggy or whatever has been giving about the song. Personally, I am easily touched by any human suffering. The three of us would like to raise people's attention towards this issue. Uh, hey, I don't know about you guys, but I dislike it when children are killed. And this is definitely going to make a dent there. Oh, and perhaps my least favorite boggy quote or bogey quote ever, the force of my song is in its modesty. This is a song that ends with everybody applauding for themselves. <laughs> now, I wish I could say this was the most self-congratulatory peace song in Eurovision history, but you only have to go back two years to prove that's not true. What if we that was the year that Russia's What If music video depicted the crowd spontaneously joining hands and rising to their feet. It's not only more over the top than worse for nothing, but less than a year after Russia sang they actually invaded and annexed part of another Eurovision country. So, as long as Hungary doesn't actually march into Vienna ahead of a column of tanks, they're already doing better than Russia in my book. All right, guys, we got a long March till May and a lot more Eurovision to come. So subscribe to this channel, post a comment below, and visit us at overthinkingit.com where we subject the popular culture to a level of scrutiny it probably doesn't deserve.